Well, there's a lot that's special about it. Um, the herbs, the, the, the Chinese call reishi the herb of spiritual immortality, or they call it uh, spirit mushroom. Uh, reishi is actually the Japanese name. It means spirit mushroom. That's what it means. Its, um, its Chinese name is lingji, which means spirit mushroom. Um, and um, they call it the herb of spiritual immortality. There's ancient scroll paintings of uh, these old monks in the woods just holding a reishi mushroom, just contemplates dwelling on it, like looking at it like, whoa, what are you, you know? Uh, and um, they, were, they were correct in there that they had discovered this herb that makes you, uh, it connects you to the divinity of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it isn't psychotropic. It's a tree mushroom. It's in the Ganoderma family of tree mushrooms, along with um, you know, herbs like mushrooms like uh, chaga and coriolis and uh, you know, Phalaenius lenteus and uh, turkey tail. And all. They're they're all in this tree mushroom family. They're roughly called Ganoderma, uh, the Ganoderma family specifically to the reishis. But um, <clears throat> uh, reishi mushroom has been used throughout, uh, particularly in Chinese history. It was used by all the emperors and empresses. Uh, the legend about it originally was that. Uh, the, you know, probably a legend, but when the first imperial palace was being built, it said that um, a, uh, a beam had been cut that was going to go directly over the emperor's uh, sleeping bed, mm. and the beam was put in place, and then uh, then this mushroom started to grow out of it, mm. and they saw that it was it was lingji, reishi, and mm. so they said that's an auspicious sign that the emperor should take reishi. So the emperors took reishi throughout Chinese history, mm. particularly in the Han and Tang dynasties. Reishi was very revered, and that's why you had such a benevolent uh, leadership. I, I'm, I'm sure. And uh, you had such a rise in art and culture in their in their civilization was because the the leaders were taking reishi, so they understood the benevol how to how to rule benevolently. And reishi did that for them, and that's why. Um, if you want to look at a book called uh, "The Genius of China" by Robert Temple, "The Genius of China," you can get it used on Amazon for like three bucks. It's a picture book that shows all the stuff the Chinese invented, wow. and uh, particularly during the Han and, and Tang dynasties, it's it's remarkable what they invented, all they invented. But their TCM, their Chinese medicine, is considered one of their great treasures. Yes. But reishi sits up at the top of their of the most famed of their herbs. Hmm. So nowadays when you go into a, like a Buddhist temple and you see the red beams up there and you see little clouds drawn on them, like looks like this. Yes. Those originally weren't intended to be clouds. They were, they were supposed to be reishi mushrooms that were growing out of the beam, you know. Um, and so uh, when you see a, a, a sculpture of a dragon, and uh, and you see the dragon coming out, and you see all the clouds. Those are really mu reishi mushrooms, mm. and the dragon is coming out of reishi. Mm. So a dragon is an extraterrestrial, uh, w cosmic wormholing, uh, shape shifting creature that goes through dimensions, mm. and it's coming out of reishi. And so uh, they think that reishi. You know, I mean, I feel that it's impl implicated in our current evolution to bring us into uh, what I refer to. Um, in uh, one of my books called Threshold of the Fourth Chakra, mm -hmm. that we're inherently moving into a, an era where we will be operating out of our heart chakra, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, we've been in the spleen chakra, burning, consuming. We can, the planet will no longer allow it, so we're going to be moving up into the heart chakra. So reishi showing up is sort of a key into that, into that energy of the heart. So we're finding the red reishi. There are, there are five different types of reishi, different colors that are attuned to different organs. The red one is the one attuned to the heart, and that's the one that's showing up everywhere, Ganoderma lucidum. Uh, and so the red reishi, now and when you, once you know it and you see it, you'll just find them. You'll be out walking and you'll find reishi that will show itself to you. Mm. And we take this and we drink it. Um, it isn't psychotropic, like I said, but it has a way of kind of connecting us back into the all. Now, in my own story, in 1998, when I met Ron Teagarden, I was actually a really messed up guy at that time. I, I, he saw it in me. He said, I need to cleanse my liver. I had red, ruddy cheeks, and I drank alcohol and didn't eat right. I was vegetarian, but I still, you know, I liked my pasta primavera and that kind of thing. And um, yeah. and I drank beer. Uh, and so, you know, uh, but he had reishi mushrooms all over his, uh, his parlor in 1998 when I met him, and I just was drawn to them. And so I went and grabbed a bottle of his, his reishi extract called Dwan with reishi capsules. And I took it home, and, and I was something like, I've got to take this. And, and, uh, and it said to take 9 to 12 a day, and I said, I'm taking 15 a day. And I started taking 5, 5, and 5 religiously. Yeah. And it was about the fifth morning I woke up, yeah. and I looked up at my ceiling, and it's like there were these little strings of light in my room, in my eyes. Mm. And I went, oh, my God, the anger is gone. The oppression is lifted. This anger and, uh, and, yes. and, and spiritual suppression that I'd had for years yes. was just suddenly like, I was liberated. 
And man, I had been searching. I had read every re religious manual there is, thinking, what, how can I get into my, my joy and my positivity? And there it was. It was like that morning I woke up and what? wait a minute. It was like taking off an old gray shirt. It yeah. wasn't even a battle. Yeah, man. Uh, and my life started to change. I met the woman, I met a young Chinese woman that I had a wonderful relationship for 15 years right then. Um, and you know, we, we still care about each other a lot. Um, mm. My whole life changed. And so the Chinese say that when you, when you take reishi, um, it initiates benevolent cycles of, of, of life, like your benevolence starts to manifest. Yes. You find more good fortune coming to you, and you find yourself able to help others more. Yes. So it's, it's, a, it's an herb of the heart chakra. Yes. The way that it works is we still don't understand the, the methods by which it works on our mental alchemy mm. to kind of replug us back in, kind of remycelinate us back into the web of life. Yeah. And uh, if you want to look into that, mycelia is the, is the web of the mushroom that goes underground that connects everything. Important in symbiosis, so we kind of plug it, kind of plugs us back into that metaphorically. We feel like we're plugged back into the symbiosis of life. Suddenly, everything is living. Everything is is is, um, is has a heart, you know. Yes. Everything is alive. A rhythm. Important. Yeah, there's a rhythm. Um, but then, on a more of a biophysical level, what it does is it has a class of polysaccharides called beta glucans, which uh, wind up modulating our immune response. They build up weak immunity and they help. Uh, help bring down excessive immune response and wow. inflammatory response. And so we kind of balance our immune response. Our immune response is our defense. How we look out at the world. Are we, are we walking into the world in a state of empowerment or of fear? Mm. When mm. we build up our immune systems, we say, I can go do that. I'll go climb that mountain with you. Let's go. I'm not worried. Right? What does that do for your aura? You climbed the mountain. You're proud of yourself. You did it. You went out there and did it. Yeah, I did that, you know. I, I feel good, you know. Yes. Your aura starts to get brighter. And what happens when your aura gets brighter and stronger? You're, you, you become the light. And then all, all energy is attracted to the light. And, and awesome. your life becomes more benevolent. Yes. More benevolent. People want to give you things. More people come to you. That's why those Hollywood stars, everybody wants to give them stuff. They're already rich and successful. But, they, but everybody wants to give them or endorsements and their products, you know. Because they're, they, a lot of them have that light. You can really see it in a lot of those those actors. Um, yes, they're they're shining that light of Shin. A lot of them, um, and um, mm. that is what we could all have. And, and Reishi is is a, a potentiator of that. When, I would say the first and foremost thing is to get Reishi into your 